Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to do our progress tracker today. So first off over here, we have kind of our guide. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about our pain level, energy level, and self-confidence or self-worth. And then also on these days, if you want to get a little bonus points here, put an asterisk on the day that you drank your water, put a pound sign or a hashtag on the day where you got enough sleep, and put a percentage if you ate five five fruits and vegetables. You don't have to put the percentage of fruits and vegetables. We're just going to use that as the symbol. Um, and so what you're going to do then is log that on your progress tracker calendar. So I have, this is the month of June and I've written in, here's one and each of the days, two, three, four, uh, the 4th of June, the 6th of June, things like that, so that I can tell what day it is. So Today is June 21st, and I have up here P over here on this side. These are going to travel all the way across the page here. So today, my pain level, we'll just say, is a 4. And today, my energy level, we'll just say, is a 6. And my overall self-confidence is a seven, okay? So that's what this is gonna look like. So I'm gonna write these values every single day. So pretend like I have all these the things filled in here. Now, I've gotten a couple of questions about, well, sometimes I don't have any pain and sometimes my pain is really severe. What do I track or what do I log? You're going to log something that gives you pain that you have to do every day and you're going to track how that pain changes over the course of the program. Okay, so I changed this up a little bit and so that's why I'm just doing it now. So forgive me for that. But what we're going to do is say, for example, um, getting dressed causes you a lot of pain. The P value, your pain level on a certain day, is the pain that you feel every single day when you get dressed. So we want to be consistent here so that we know what we're tracking because sometimes my pain's a zero and sometimes it's a 10, okay? So now when we go to graph this, so say, for instance, I have my whole graph filled out here. What I'm going to do when we go to graph this up here is this access here is the day of the month and this one over here is your level whether it's your pain level your energy level or your self-confidence on a scale from one to ten so say for instance it's the first of the month it's this is for june up here so on june 1st my pain level was oh i'm going to use colors here so we've got colors that way we can sort of track it and i'm going to do all the p values first so pain is red so on the first of the month, my pain was an eight, and then the second, it was a seven, and then the um, third, it was an eight, and I'm just going to go through here so that this continues on through the month, okay? And then what we're going to do is look at how this looks over the course of the month. Now ideally, and with this one here, overall it's going down, okay? So that's what we want, our pain level to go down, okay? So that's with my red marker here. And I'm gonna keep going so that over the course of June, uh, my pain level goes down. But you're gonna do this for your values. Whatever you have, whatever your pain level is, that's what you're gonna do. So first you wanna fill in the progress tracker calendar every single day. You'll do this daily. Um, and you can do it at night or if it's easier to do it the morning after and you do it for yesterday's values, that's fine too. So we're going to pretend like I've filled out every single thing here and you guys can start today filling out from this point forward. And then at the end of the month, we'll graph all these values. So next is our energy level. That's yellow. Okay, so I've got my yellow highlighter here. And we'll just say my energy level is always really low. Okay, and I'm just graphing these points. And okay, I had a good day here. Um, but usually my energy level is super, super low. Well, I start exercising and that pain level gets a little bit higher. Okay, and I've got some bad days and I've got some good days. But overall, that pain level or that energy level rather is getting higher. So same thing, that energy level is trending upward. Okay, so my energy level is going up and that's kind of hard to see because it's yellow and my pain level is going down. The next thing we're going to do is our self-worth, which is going to be blue. 
Okay, so get out your blue marker here. And if you don't have these color markers, then that's totally fine. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is our self-confidence or self-worth. And I wanna talk just a minute about the difference between these two. We all know what self-confidence is, but sometimes when we have been in pain for a long time, we feel worthless. We can't do anything, we're not working very much, we can't clean the house, we can't do anything. Our value, our personal self-worth suffers because we feel like we can't do the things that we wanna do. So that's why we're tracking this. Now eventually, after your self-worth gets pretty high, that turns into self-confidence, okay? So, so these are sort of, we're gonna use them interchangeably here, and you can use whatever one feels best to you, okay? Either self-confidence or self-worth. So, and what I'm gonna do here is look back, so we'll pretend again that I have this whole calendar filled out with my self-confidence or self-worth values, and we'll just say, um, so my self-confidence and self-worth is pretty good. You know, I have some good days, some bad days. And, but overall, I'm getting stronger. I've got more energy. I'm getting healthier. Um, things are looking up for me. Things are doing really good. And eventually those values start to look up. I can do more things. I'm more energetic. So same thing. So this is looking upward as I'm able to get stronger, as I'm able to do more things, as I'm able to get less or to have less pain. So that is really valuable. Then, so you're just going to track these for the first month. You're only going to do the progress tracker. Then after you have a whole month filled out, then you can plot them on your graph. Okay. So that's going to be awesome. And it's a really great way to show this when you're done then if you want to you can connect all these dots or sort of make a line of best fit okay so that is my pain level that's just sort of an average this here is my energy level that is going upward and then this here is my self-confidence again that is going upward as well Okay, so it's just helpful to see, hey, over the course of the last month, over the course of this program, overall, my pain level has decreased, has gone down, which is the goal. You want to have less pain. My energy level has increased. I'm getting more energy. And my overall self-confidence or self-worth, the way that I feel about myself, has gone up. Now, for a lot of you guys, you might not have significant changes in your pain level because you still have that injury, you still have that tear, you're waiting for that sort of either that surgery or that to heal or things like that. But those other values, the self confidence and self worth and the energy level, should definitely be trending upward, both of these here. So even if your pain level is pretty steady, the idea is that the other two go up and then eventually this pain level will slowly come down and yours might be slower, um, slower than this one and that's okay, but it's just important to sort of track those numbers. Let us know if you have any questions and we will talk soon. Have a good day.